All right, to set this fight up, there was a rope capelled Dramiel that got caught in my bubble and then ran away when I tried to engage him. And then, as you can see here, I have went up to a, a tactical, and he went right back to the bubble. So you don't run away from the fight the first time and then go back to a losing fight if you know if you don't have something up your sleeve. So I can see it's just him and local, which means that something's up. So I alt tab to my alt, Hans, who happened to be in the next system over, B-D, and... I was able to see that there was a Rokapel fleet with a bunch of Svepuls and other T3 destroyers, some interceptors, frigates, uh, that kind of thing. Mostly small stuff. So the important thing to notice is that as they pile in now, about 15 of them, there's 106.5 AU warp. At an interceptor's warp speed of 8 AU a second, that's roughly 13 seconds for even an interceptor to arrive, much less the Svepuls who will be more like 20 seconds. So I've got some time. I'm pretty confident that I can kill him. And so I get all my newts on him pretty quick. And we're going to talk about that more in a second. Get my drones on him. I've got my infiltrators out because I believe most likely he's going to be a shield tank in a Dramiel. That's just a safe assumption. And um, infiltrators are EM damage, which is usually a shield hole. So you can see here I started newts number one and two at once in one shot to get his capacitor all the way to zero. And then I waited to start newt number three until roughly halfway through that cycle so that it would be staggered. And I would have one and one in three staggered and I could shut off number two and keep it available for incoming interceptors. My microwarp drive was overloaded and I was already starting to align out because I knew the interceptors would be landing soon and I wanted them to land behind me so that I would have a running start before they got scr scram on me. He's a shield tank so he's gonna drop pretty fast. Um, once you see him out of shields, I was confident moving away from him because by the time I get out of range, he's going to go down. Um, there's three interceptors that have landed here. Uh, they can hold me long enough for the Svey pulls to arrive. And once the Svey pulls arrive and get hard tackle on me, I'm dead because there's going to be so many of them and they're all faster than me. So I have to keep that in mind. I need to escape. So right now I'm waiting for the kill. There's the kill. I'm locking up the interceptors, trying to keep track of which one's the closest. I missed a lock on the Crusader. So now if I was really doing this perfectly, you can see in this slide, I would have abandoned the infiltrators and threw out my warriors to try to also put some DPS pressure on these uh, interceptors. But at, the point, at this point, I was just focused 100% on survival and escape. Now the Crusader got a point on me, and he's less than 10k which is very bad I don't like anything being less than 10k so my focus now is to newt out put one newt on the crusader and you can see they can outrun me pr very quickly so my priority is to continue moving as fast as possible to delay how long it takes them to catch me while newting out these interceptors whenever they come within 25k my, my newt range I want to newt them I'm watching area number one to see if the point drops and area number two to make sure there are new, no new threats, as well as to manage my newts. So I, I've doubled up my newts on the Crusader, and you'll see that he starts to fall away. His micro warp drive just turned off. The Ares came within newt range, so I put a newt on him. And you'll see pretty soon he'll start to fall away. And I saw that the newt was gone, or that the point was gone. And as soon as I noticed that point was gone right above my uh, overview, or my HUD right here, um, as soon as I saw that their points dropped, I was out of there. You know, hit the warp. I was ready to warp. I had something in mind. At this point, I'm warping to an asteroid belt. There's a chance they would follow me, but for the most part, I'm pretty safe at this point, cloaked during warp. And then as soon as I land, make sure I then quickly warp off to a safe spot. Just by looking at this kill mail, you can see that it was a pretty expensive Dramiel. He had some faction gear on there and dead space gear. So it, was, it ended up being a pretty nice uh, quick kill.